Hi everybody, welcome to my show here at the Senior Center Art Gallery. Uh, this year I'm doing Fall Foliage Forever Leaf Pattern Collages. I've taken leaves that I found on the ground, um, all over town, in my backyard, and I've turned them into collages using Mod Podge. And that's really a nice innovation. I think everybody that's grown up in New England when they were little kids made leaf collages or covered leaves in wax paper. This is a little different. We're actually using the leaves to make collages. Uh, it preserves the color, preserves the shape, and it's, it's really something different. Let me show you what I've got going on here. Here we go. I'm going to take you on a tour. So here we are in the gallery at the Senior Center. We'll start here at the beginning with uh, one of the first collages that I made using uh, maple leaves and sumac and some other leaves that I found around the yard. And uh, as I <coughs> mentioned in the introduction, I uh, used Mod Podge, painted the black canvas first, painted each side of the leaves before attaching them to the Mod Podge, then painting it one more time. I, I like to use ultra high gloss Mod Podge so you get a nice shiny effect. You want to pick up leaves that are on the ground but aren't all curled up and dried yet. There are a couple of things you can do to, to help the leaves stay uh, ductile. One is to soak them in a mixture of water and glycerin and that will keep them supple and they're easier to work with. But pretty much any leaf that you find, it's, it's not too dry, these are pretty dry, uh, can be sealed in the varnish, the Mod Podge varnish, and they become permanent. The colors stay fixed, the shapes stay fixed. Um, we'll see how permanent this is. These are almost a year old, and they've held up pretty well. This one I tried to uh, imitate a flower by taking leaves and pine needles. I like finding different colored leaves and matching them by shape to get a colorful collage. Some are more chaotic than others, like this one. <laughs> this one is totally chaotic, but I still like it. Others I tried to be more formal and get nice geometric shapes going on. This one is a wreath. Then I got a little fanciful and added a train. This is a Chinese steam train. We're still running there, coal fired. And I just had a little fantasy here of leaves blowing out of the engine. Leaf steam. Another really geometrical construction. Maple leaves really lend themselves to this. You can really just mash them up by their little pointed ends, indentations. There's another train. This one was fun. This was uh, corn leaves. Took them right off of a dead corn plant. It was still fairly supple and they're just huge. Really worked out great. Here's another really geometrical construction using really small leaves around larger leaves. Sumac, I really like working with sumac. It had just such a nice geometrical shape. And of course maple leaves are so prevalent <laughs> around here. Very easy to work with and fine. This I called my self-portrait. I got uh, mainly maple leaves and some others, I'm not exactly sure what those are, and cut out eyes, made a mouth, mustache and beard. 
free form. Just loved these leaves, they were so large. This one I played with with some color uh, spray paint, gold spray paint, to accentuate the maple leaves. This one I think came out pretty good. I might play with this more this season, painting the leaves. And finally, a fern. So simple, so beautiful, almost more of a naturalist mounting and presentation, but just beautiful on its own. So come on over uh, to the Senior Center. These will be on exhibit for the whole month of September. Uh, anybody can come in. Uh, it's open 8.30 to 4, Monday through Friday. And come on over, have a look.